Hey everybody, quick little video this time just about the Pete Pokédex feature in um, Poké2. So let's look at just our general Pokédex. So there's a big misconception that Poké2 is supposed to play like a Pokémon game. Not really actually. Poké2 is very specifically a clone of Pokécord and there's some very unusual things that occur due to that. Um, let's take a look at P Pokédex 8. Look at that, I don't have Dragonair. That's odd because um, P, P info. I have a Dragonair right here. Um, so you see the Pokédex in Hi Parker. Thanks for destroying my house. Um, the Pokédex in Poké Two. It only cares about Pokémon that you've caught from a spawn directly. It it'll never register, and that's why there's a P redeem spawn kind of command. Because that's the only way that it registers in your actual list here. That's right, Parker. That's right! Thanks, Parker. <laughs> so, redeems, auctions, if you go to P auction, and the market, and trades, and evolutions, none of that ever matters for the Pokédex. Now, this is one of the things that I really don't like about the game, and by the way, I'm not a developer. People always get... I, I don't know why people think I make the guides, the games I make guides for. I've never used a guide made by a developer. But, um, no, I, I don't make Poké 2. A lot of things would be very different if I made Poké 2, let me tell you that much. Uh, there's a lot of really dumb user experience stuff. Uh, personally, I would make, like, the Pokédex act like the Pokédex in real Pokémon, you know? I have, I clearly have a Dragonair. It should be marked here. They should make, like, a different thing, like a caught in the wild list or something. And have that only be, you know, the random Pokemon. Because I don't care about that. I want to catch them all. I, you know, I, I've been playing this game for freaking 25 years, apparently. I think it's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Yeah, I, I, I've been playing this for ages, so I, I, I don't care about, you know, catching them in the wild. I just want to own them all. And, but Poke, Poke2 doesn't care. Poke2 um, only cares about what you get because it's a, it's a Pokemon guessing game. And a lot of people don't seem to fully understand that. Poke2 is a game where you guess the names of Pokemon. I've seen several people ask like, wait, how do you play this if you don't know the names of the Pokemon? Well, you, you play a different game because this is a Pokemon name guessing game. Uh, check out Poke Meow or Poke or Mewbot, M-Y-U-U. Both of those you can play without knowing the names of the Pokemon. This is very specifically a Poke Chord thing, and Poke Chord was a name guessing game. And a lot of <laughs> the, the the original intent of Poke Chord has been completely forgotten by almost everyone playing it. It's such a weird cargo cult thing. But um, yeah. So the Poke Dex again. Let me P help. Let me show you the. If you auction Pokemon, they don't count in the Poke Dex. If you evolve Pokemon through leveling up, they don't count. If you buy them from the market, they don't count. If you trade them, well, the trading isn't even in here. Uh, but yeah, if you trade them, doesn't count. So how do you register Abra or um, Alakazam if you can't trade to evolve them? You have to find one in the wild. And that means you'll basically never complete your Pokedex because you'll never find enough natural spawns. That's why it's, it's, it's kind of, it's to get you to spend money to, to buy the redeem spawns, basically. Um, which... Kind of sucks, but hey, that's free to play games. You're, they're always gonna, they're always gonna try to get your money out of you somehow. So if they don't get it up front, they're gonna try some really backhanded ways, unfortunately. So yeah, that basically makes almost all of the features in the bots useless, frankly. If you're like me and you want to actually like, you know, catch them all, um, because like all of the shop stuff, like these shop evolution items, like they're useless because you don't actually get registered as owning them. Um, so again, I, I really think they should add like a real Pokédex. So, if you're in the official server, feel free to recommend that, but yeah, I, I've given up on them, like, caring about this actually working like Pokemon, personally. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically how it all works, and also, please rec remember, I mentioned this before, but P Pokédex. Let's look at, uh, Ala... The P Pokédex command, um, looks for a specific Pokémon. You can read their little description, and you can read the evolution, even, um... Even if you don't have them. So if you want to know how to get a thing, if you want to know how to get a Pokemon or evolve it, you can do that. Though there is one stupid thing, huh? Oh, I misspelled it. P there is one dumb little thing I noticed. Certain Pokemon 
can't be evolved, and because, like I said, these game, the developers of this game have no concept of user experience. It just says, it evolves into Magnetozone, somehow. And like, there's no, there's no effort made to express to the user, Hey, we didn't make the goddamn thing right. No, it just says it, it just says, it, it, somehow. So what that means is that you can't. But they just left somehow in there because... I don't, I don't even know, because screw you, that's why, basically. <laughs> um, so that's really frustrating and annoying. Um, no, you can also do forms. Um, P Pokédex, you put the form name first and the Pokémon name second. It's so like Shadow Lugia, somebody asked me how to get Shadow Lugia, the answer is, you can't! Um, it was an event Pokémon. And if you put in P Pokédex, uh, origin... No, I, I kind of don't like this because it normally it's Giratina origin form is how this is usually addressed in Pokemon. But here it is, origin Giratina, um, evolution, not, not really evolution, but Giratina transforms from Giratina when given a Greasius orb. So if you want to know how to do forms, you can try that. A lot of forms are not implemented, like let's look at uh, P, Pokedex, Sunshine, Cherry. Yeah, oh, Sunshine. Trust me, it doesn't, it's not gonna matter. Yeah, Sunshine Cherim is not in the game because... Frankly, because not many people like Cherim, but also... Um, a lot of the lesser evolutions, like the legendary ones, there's even a whole page in the shop. Was it P Shop Forms? Oh, for Pete's sake. Mega Form. Yeah, see, there's a whole page in the shop for form change items. But yeah, basically, if the Pokémon is not in the, um, the P Shop... If it doesn't evolve from one of these, then it's probably, you probably just can't change the form and you have to either catch it wild or the form's completely unimplemented. And I gotta say, in like 95% of the questions people ask, the answer is just you can't. I, um, I hate to be so blunt, but basically if you have to ask how you get a thing or if you can do a thing, the answer is usually that you can't. Like somebody kept asking, how do you get Magnetozone? You can't. Well, actually, I think you could probably find Magnetozone from a wild spawn, because again, the, the, the game doesn't care about being a Pokemon game. It, it really, I really can't stress that. The game does not give a crap that you want it to play like Pokemon. It's just gonna not. Uh, it wants you to find Magnezone from the wild. It wants you to grind forever because you know what? If you have to grind forever, eventually you're gonna give up and you're, you're gonna either stop playing or you're gonna spend money. That's, that's really how free to play games work. And um, it sucks. But that's why I that's why I play paid up front games because there's there's usually no BS. But uh, that's how the Pokédex works. That's all the Pokédex features, and that's kind of a little explanation on how the game kind of is structured. So if you want to evolve and like catch them all that way, sorry, the game the game does not agree with you. Um, you obviously you can still evolve stuff, but don't think you're filling your Pokédex. And devs, if you're watching, like put a real Pokédex in, please. Thanks. Come on. If you enjoy my Poke2 guides, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you click the join button or check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash tap tap, you can support the channel. Thanks a lot.